Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a webcam barcode scanner in C Sharp. So here I have a form which has a picture box right here, which is picture box one, two buttons. This is the start button and this is the stop button. So what we're going to want to do is actually grab the feed from our webcam whenever we click on the start button right and it's gonna show in this picture box right here and then our program will try to recognize the barcode in this picture and if it successfully recognized it then it's gonna display a message box containing the decoded barcode and whenever we click on this stop button apparently our feed will be stopped so what we're gonna want to need is actually to import two libraries one of them is for fetching the webcam feed and the other one is for decoding the barcode so we're gonna right click on the references write down our project right here and we're gonna click on add reference and then what we're gonna want to do is actually browse for the two libraries so these are the two libraries Bessel Tech Camp Capture the DLL and Messaging Toolkit the barcode the DLL so we're gonna select both of them and click add and then click OK. And the next step is actually going to the code. So right click on our form and click on view code. And we want to actually be using two, the two libraries. So using messaging toolkit the barcode and using Basil Tech Cam Capture. OK, so the next step is actually um, creating some global variables in the um, in our form one class so right before our constructor we're gonna create a camera object camera cam and a timer T a background worker worker and a bitmap cap image which is gonna hold our captured image and the next step that we're gonna do is actually go inside the form one constructor after the initialization of our components and we want to type in here t is equal to new timer and cam is equal to new camera and then we're gonna give it our picture box which is going to hold our capture image so picture box one and then worker is equal to new background worker and the next thing is actually adding um, a method that is going to handle the event for the work of the worker and the tech of the timer so worker dot do work plus equal and then we're gonna hit the tab button on our keyboard to generate the method and then we're gonna do the same to the timer so t dot tech plus equal and then tab to create the tech function and then t dot interval is equal to one okay so the next thing that we're gonna do is actually go to the um, tick event function right in here and we want to store the captured image inside the cap image variable that we created so cap image is equal to cam dot get bitmap if cap image is not equal null and not worker the is busy which means that we actually have a, um, a feed that or a captured image that we want to process so what we're gonna want to do is run the worker so worker the run worker async 
And the reason we're using a background worker is actually to prevent blocking the UI while trying to decode the image. So the next thing that we're going to do is actually decoding the image, which is going to be done by this worker do work function. So what we're going to want to do is um, create a barcode decoder object. So barcode decoder, I'm going to name it decoder is equal to new barcode decoder. And then in a try catch block, we're going to try to decode our image. So try and here is the catch exception. Okay. So what we're going to do is actually try to decode our image. So, um, let's just, um, create a string that's going to hold our decoded text. So string decoded text is equal to decoder dot oops, decoder dot decode. And then we're going to give it our cap image object. So cap image dot text. So after running this line, we're going to have the decoded text in this string decoded text right here. And what we're going to want to do is actually just, um, um, display it in a message box. So message box dot show decoded text. Okay. So the next thing to do is actually handle the start and the stop buttons. So we're going to go back to our form. We're going to double click on start button and in a try catch block, we're going to type in here cam dot start and then T dot start, start our timer and then button to the enabled is equal to true to enable the stop button and button one dot enabled is equal to false to disable the uh, start button. So we want to enable the stop button and disable the start button and catch exception ex and we're going to just um, stop the cam if there is any exception. So cam dot stop and display the exception in a message box. So message box dot show ex dot message. All right. So the next step is actually to implement the stop button. So we're going to go back to our form one and double click on the stop button. And we're going to type in here t dot stop to stop the timer and cam dot stop to stop our camera feed and then button to the enabled is equal to false to disable the stop button and button one dot enabled is equal to true to re-enable the start button again. So what we're going to want to do now is actually go back to our four and in the stop button, we're going to the um, properties of the, uh, of the field. And we're going to make sure that it is disabled. So in the enable attribute, we want to set it to false, right? And our start button is apparently enabled. So, uh, that's it guys. Let's now test our program. So we're going to hit the start button. Okay. So here we have some barcodes and let's click on the start button right here and we want to select our camera and here we go. The feed starts. So let's try to scan this barcode right here. Okay. This one.
Okay, so as you can see, everything's working fine. And it also scans QR codes. So let's try to scan this one right here. Here we go. Let's stop our feed and here we go. All right, so that's it guys for this tutorial and see you in the next one.